Hello and welcome to um, Objects in Space. Now, it's a bit of a controversial one, this, because this game's dead. On the Steam store, the developers have said they're not continuing with this game, that it's all over, and then I see people putting up all the time, like, is it worth it in a sale and stuff? And I think it is. I really enjoy this game. I've never really got that far in it, to be honest. I just love navigating through space. Um, I've got two saves here from February, so I've not played it since February. And I, I never even, I've never even played that much combat in it, to be honest. I just like, I like the atmosphere of it. So I figured I'm going to do a run of it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this game. It's just going to get uploaded now and again, a bit like my Hard Space Shipbreaker 1. Um, currently, I'm waiting for Tiny Combat Arena to come out. Um, then I can hopefully make some tutorials on that. I've still got... Well, I think my, my High Fleet run will definitely have ended by the time you see this. I think. I'm up to the last episode. So, yeah. So I figured I'd play this, see what you think. Um, let's just have a look at this. Windows Story Mode, just so you can see stuff. Combat difficulty, normal. Economic, normal. In fact... I'm going to do easy on that, because the money situation is a little bit unfair. Maybe very easy. And I don't want to have to grind too much. Maybe very easy is too easy. Um, we'll start with slightly more finances. Once, you, you know, you can do a sandbox mod, you can skip all this stuff, you can remove fog. Um, but I love it. Anyway, let's get started. So, as you can see, we're on a space station. This is Wendy. Hey, you look like you zoned out there for a second, compadre. You with us or what? The Cassandra ain't going to check itself off for the last jump. You ready to head out? Um, what are we doing again? What? <laughs> you can't be that hungover, surely. Look, I get that it's repetitive, but whether it's the first time or the 50th, we're still going out on our, on, on our own in those itty-bitty little shoals. If we don't make sure her systems are all in check, who knows what could screw up Cass's next jump. It's nothing but us in space for light years in any direction. But you know this already in your first raid rodeo, I know. So let me put on my flight commander hat for one second and say let's get started. One last time before we reach Apollo. So we're heading to this place, this cluster called Apollo. I'd give you some backstory, but you're going to discover it as we're doing this. You're right, let's go. That's the spirit. Request undocking permission from the monitor, then jump on through the airlock. Oh, and keep the communications open so we can chat on the outside. See you out there. So, permission is required to undock your utility shuttle from the Cassandra. Request permission. Permission to undock has been accepted. You may depart. Right click to return. Yeah, so I, I, I've played this a few times, but I, I forgot the controls a little bit. So, we're in the Cassandra. I'm going to close the I'm going to close the airlock doors oh, one second oh, left my drink over there um, yep so we're in a shuttle we can, can we do anything we can look at a couple of stations with the arrow keys we've got this one here and um, we've got our Undock station, we've got a map here. So let's undock. And we've got a hail from Wendy. Hey there, Wendy here. Okay, switching to professional mode. Haha, <laughs> let's make it happen. Same as always. Rotate your ship to 50 degrees on your helm screen. This one. <laughs> there we go, 50 degrees. Uh, what's all this? We're doing a pre jump check. Population 498,000, solar wings are attracted. This is our main ship, this isn't us. Okay, I'm at 50 degrees now. 
Okay, we're in sync and burn main engines for a second or two to bring up to speed. And then we'll go. That's the Cassandra, that's our like uh, colony ship, I think. Engines are online. Alright, we're moving. Let's get out there and make sure Cass is in good shape before heading back. Stop the burn and drift for a while. I've already done that. Professional mode deactivating. <laughs> but listen, back to what I was saying at poker. I get giddy sometimes just thinking about this trip. It's so freaking cool, am I right? Like, how the shit did we get here, you know what I mean? Um, thinking about what? With... We're the furthest any human beings have ever been from Earth. We're harbouring some 750,000 people back on the Cassandra. And it's up to us, just us, to help her get to help get her safely to the Apollo Cluster. I don't know about you, but that really tickles me. Forget Earth and hate us. This journey is the single greatest thing humanity has done since inventing fire. Do you ever wonder what's waiting for us out there? In the Apollo Cluster, I mean. So many star systems to explore. Um... <clears throat> what do Cassandra's latest readings say? Oh, they're still solid. They're still confirming Kovales Kovalevsky's red readings. The grain should be habitable and just waiting for us to make planet fall. And I know what planet. I know that planets with potential life don't mean there actually is any. But even that one in a billion chance still excites me. And hell, even if there's nothing there, we at least know there'll be planets rich in the gases and minerals we'll need to thrive. And what's more exciting than being the first humans to colonise an entirely new star cluster? Forget Mars, forget goddamn Neptune with its boring ass truck stops, space stations. This place is entirely on us, you know. It's what we make it. Yep, it's exciting, a totally new humanity. Exactly, we'll be the best versions of humanity we can possibly be. And you know what? Screw whatever we consider humanity back on Earth. That was ten years ago now. Here's the thing, we made a choice, you and me. We're one of only a handful of people who made the choice to leave all that behind and seek a new life among the stars, you know? Yep, this is a once in a left trip. trip. Damn straight. And okay, let's come to a full stop here. Head to your nav map and hit full stop so we can start scanning Cass. So it's rotating to slow us down. There we go. At full stop now, Cassandra's been scanned. Good work. So look, I've been thinking about this, and the way I see it, choice is loss. Everyone speaks about it like it's opportunity, and it is, but it's also loss. Sorry, is my microphone really loud? There we go. That might be better. I'm sorry for the past eight minutes. That's been bad. Uh, it's the loss of every job offer you've never pursued, every crush you've never kissed, every damn, I don't know, every time you choose chocolate over goddamn vanilla. Better get used to it, is what I'm saying. Heck, I'll bet if you'd have chosen Earth, you'd probably be sitting in Johannesburg or some such place wondering about what you missed out on here in the emptiness. But like I say, choice is loss. Coming here wasn't your first and it won't be your last. That's true, Wendy, that is true. I hope it all works out for us when we get there. So do I, so do I. Okay, Cassandra's status is nominal. We can start moving back in, dropping a beacon on your nav map for the rendezvous now. Head to your nav map, plot a course there and press engage. You can't see the beacon, you can pan around the nav map, it'll pop up eventually. There's the beacon. Plot course. Engage. Course laid in and we're away. I'm glad you're excited too, even if this stuff does make me nervous. I mean, we've been jumping for 10 straight years and we've seen the solar system from such a distance it's barely recognisable. But you know what? We're nearly there, we're almost at Apollo. And then we get to do something no other human has ever done before. We get to start again, but like really start again. Do you reckon Apollo will be okay? I'm really asking here. Yeah, I certainly think so, but neither of us can really know for sure. I suppose we don't. We're the ones who get to decide whatever human it looks like next. We're one of the few who can actually shape it. I don't know about you, but that excites the shit out of me. I got a joke for you. How many earthens does it take to change a light bulb? One? Who the shit cares? We're a po we're Polonians now. While those pricks are busy screwing in light bulbs, we're making your stream look like a damn footnote. 
Hell, we're expanding the reach of human cans so much we're not just reach. She's really excited. Getting to the Apollo Colour State is taking us 10 years. That's not only something no one's ever done before, but something no one will ever have to do again. We arrive, we build our side of the Earth Gate, and people can come and go as they please. It's just straight up wholesome. Not another soul is ever going to embark on a 10 year space journey like this. It'll take them an instant to know what we've done, we've done a decade. So yeah, we've been travelling for a decade to get to here. I think now we can do a jump to where we need to be, which is Apollo. And the plan is to build an Earth gate, so Earth and this new Apollo cluster can, you know, they can pretty much travel in instantaneously. We're not just trailblazers, we're not just pioneers, we're one of a kind, baby. That's pretty cool. Damn right I'm right, we're going to finally get to Lagrange, make planet fall and build Earth gate. This will be the ultimate bridge. Earthgate will bring about trans-cluster travel. Trans-cluster travel in an instant. Can't argue with how insane that sounds. Yeah, okay, Wendy. Huh? Huh, yeah, what? What? Oh, nothing, just a blip on the scanners, I'm sure. Everything looks normal now, going ahead as planned. If it's serious, one of the crew will send instructions. I'm not worried. Maybe we should double check with the Cassandra first. Now, there's a just automated reasons we We'd be contacted directly if they were serious. Alright, we're okay. I've been told that you need to reposition slightly. Not sure why. I've dropped another beacon on your nav map. A lot of calls for it and engage. All of the ships are 5x5 five five and ready to jump. As soon as you're there, hit jump ready on the Cassandra monitor. I'll see you in Apollo, baby. Course plotted. Let's see if leaving Earth was worth it. Hey, we all choose to come on the Cassandra mission back on Earth. There's no backing out nearly a decade into the journey. So come join me. One last jump into the breach. One more jump. Let's make this happen, Apollo. Here we come. Hope nothing happens. We're just waiting to get to here. I love it. I just love the way it looks, even though it's been abandoned, this game, which is such a shame. I think two people were making it. Cassandra. Connected. Okay, people, this is Cassandra Actual. All ships have reported in and we're ready for the final jump into Apollo. Everybody check your Cassandra SATA screens and select jump ready when you're in position. We're in position. Jump ready. <coughs> Hope nothing goes wrong. all this Helm controls up down what is this right I know what it is but I'm trying to immerse myself a bit for your benefit SS Jolly Rancher Leslie. Hey there, what's going on? You alright in there? What? Who are you? Where are the others? I'm Les, just running my local route through these here parts and suddenly you appeared on my radar and I'm like, heck, this ain't the normal jump location. So I figured I'd better see what was up. Tell me, are you okay? You seem to be spinning. Uncontrollable like. Can you help me? I can help you, yes. You're going to keep on spinning and your ship's going to keep on shaking like that till we fix it. I'm guessing it's your helm watch shot. And unless you get back to your engineering section and take a look at it, you're going to be spinning like that forever. Head to engineering and you're going to want to open up your helm system, drag out the deck component and switch it with a working one from your storage. Can you do that? I think so. Can you walk me through it a little? 
Let's see, you're in an old Remora class shuttle. So if memory serves, you'll want to get onto that engineering monitor near where your airlock is and use the interface to click on your busted helm. You want to disconnect your helm, open it up, unscrew all four of the screws and press the big green button in the bottom middle. Then find the component that's marked for damage and drag it out into storage. That makes sense there, Skipper. So. <coughs> excuse me. Ooh, we've got this as well. So let's go into the helm. I think we can see there's a problem here. Helm. We're going to disconnect and we're going to open it. We need to unscrew these. And that's the busted one. Good job we had one spare in it. There we go. Yeah, this will look good. Elm's back online. All good. That's all done. Okay. Once the broken part's gone, you want to drag in a working one. Just drag whatever you've got. Oh, we've done it. Yeah, it's working again. Nice going. Now hit the button down the bottom to close it up. Screw it back in. Yep, yeah, we've closed and reconnected. Welcome back to the land of the less mangled ships. So if you press the RCS button back on the helm on the bridge, it'll stop it from spinning. There we go. Done. She stopped spinning. So, uh, what are you doing out here all of a sudden? Where is he? Well, you're in the Leo system, not too far up from the Lego gas mines. Ring a bell? Um, what? Where's the Cassandra? The Cassandra? Are you high? <laughs> uh, well, relative to the nearest planetary body with a... No, I'm not saying that. What's wrong with that question? Where is she? Did something happen? Oh, 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 I see what's happening here. You're a newcomer. I am. I mean, I guess. What's a newcomer? Since we all got here in Apollo, we've had occasional support ships from the Cassandra mission popping in way later than the rest of the convoy. On the final jump, they got caught in some kind of space-time rift or some such bizarre thing. They end up getting here all right, but way later than they should. How many... Others has it happened to? About a dozen or so from what I read in the papers. So, uh, welcome to Apollo. So there's not much more ceremony. Thanks, I guess. So how late am I? Ah, oh, yeah, well, so this is the part other folks said in the papers they found the hardest. So you might want to sit down or something. <laughs> how late am I? Just prepare yourself, okay? How late? We're coming up on 45 years since Planet Fall on Lagrange. Whoa, 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 I'm half a century late. Now listen, let me guide you back to port. I'm reasonably sure there's someone there who can set up with like a support group or some such thing. For newcomer folks like yourself, folks who've lost folks, you know? Lost? Well, yeah, I mean, it's been 45 years. I had to break it to you, but a lot of your old friends are likely dead. I mean, me, I've got fully grown kids of my own, and I was born here. Holy shit. That seems an appropriate reaction. I don't know about whether it's holy or not, but shit, yes. If I recall the AEA, Apollo something something, passed a law a while back, a while back which let newcomers keep the vessel they arrived in. A short range shot like yours may not be much, but you can get a decent load of cash for it for its historical value and easily set yourself up as a freelance captain. Let me take you back to the nearest port, I can point you in the right direction. I guess. Okay, so go into your nav map there and you should see an icon not too far off, which is listed as Lego Gas Port. Why don't you click on that, then press plot course and engage. I'll fly there with you. So, this is where we are now. We're in uh, Leo. I don't think we can see uh, a like, galaxy map yet. And we're going to Lego gas port. So we'll click there. There, we're going to plot course and engage. No signal from Cassandra. Okay, I'm on route. 
So listen, there's a few things you should know. I've heard that people who came here on the Cassandra are expecting better than what we got. What did we get? There were plenty of places to start out colonies and such, but not a one of them has got breathable air. Folks can walk around outside in some places, but only with breathing apparatus and only for a short stint. So as not to get poisoned. You follow? We've got an unknown contact there. Uh, not what we're open for, but plenty of colonies sounds promising. Sure, plenty of colonies and space stations for most of them. Rapid transport from star system to star system. It's not half bad. Did we find any other life? Well, microbe like things, yeah, but nothing so large I'd comfortably call it animal as such. So, no aliens. Sorry, friend, no aliens. There's probably much more to talk about, which might shock you, but let's leave it until you're on solid ground. Let's talk back at Lego. Shouldn't take more than a minute or two to get there. Alright, signing off, see ya. So yeah, we're in we're in this new sector of space well not new, new to us. This sector of space that's been colonized over the past forty five years and we've just arrived late. And I love the story, I love that setting. That's quite cool. Look at all this. We've got IFF. I see T, I can't remember what that is. I can't remember what half this is. We'll go, we're gonna dock in a moment. Dock in now. Wait for the bell. There we go, what's that? Okay, let's get these doors open. And here's Leslie. Welcome to Apollo, partner. I'm Les. We spoke when you were spinning around aimlessly in space just now. Yeah, I remember. Good times. I might say this L to meet a newcomer. And listen, I was thinking on the way over here. You're probably pretty damn lost. No friends, no family and so forth. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um... What I meant to say is, I want to help get you orientated, like, get yourself set up, understand? Sounds great. So first things first, your ship. What's wrong with my ship? I know it's probably got some sentimental value to you and all, but that old remora shuttle you came in here in, well, in space legal. Space legal? Yeah, like that old bird is 50 years out of date. No way you can legally fly these days. You'll need to get yourself another ship before they let you undock. I don't get myself another ship. Take a look around Lego. Different monitors around the place and where you can buy and sell ship parts and cargo. Apply for jobs and loans and such and one will be the local ship broker. Your shuttle may not be legal to fly but it's historical value. will make for a damn nice, will make it damn nice for trading cash. So you should be flush enough to buy yourself a decent ship. I am aware there's a lot of reading at the start. <laughs> um, great. Go get yourself a new ship of some kind then come find me. Reckon I can set you up some work. Okay, cheers. Oh, a lot of reading. So we can move around with arrow keys. Yeah, we have to also pay fees to undock. If we press tab, we get our little PDA up. Uh, we've got um, just kind of some, I don't know what to call that screen. Summary screen, credits or account number. Uh, these are our current tasks. Uh, this is our ship, I think, with different stuff we have attached. Oh, there is the um, like galaxy map. Oh, I keep pressing, I keep right clicking. If we can move, yep, yeah, we can move around, and then we can see the cluster as well. So we can see um, all different systems we can visit in that. That's our conversation screen and our settings. One thing this game is a little bit known for is some crash to desktops, but I don't think you can save, but I think even on a crash to desktop, if you just load up, you're fine. So we've got this here. 
we've got um, that is something but I'll go into that later we've got a trading screen we've got a commerce screen we can take, pick up licenses for certain trading things we can make loans, contracts, pick up passengers do bounties adverts um, we've got our mechanic screen, our ship broker this is the one we want you can talk to some people as well <laughs> hi what can I do for you are you the custodian of these here terminals? you look after these terminals? Not really. I'm just near them. You're meant to just use them yourself. I'm guessing you haven't used them before since you're asking. I might as well show you what's what. Uh, there are three terminals here. One's for buying and selling ship. Yeah, um, I've kind of explained what these are. But we're going to get little tutorials like this. Um, I repaired a helm system once. So one of these terminals are for buying and selling components, one is for repairing your hull. Uh, you can buy cargo pods and stuff. I'll, I'll, and I'm skipping through these, but as as we go through the screens, I'll tell you what they are. Thank you. Now I'm very busy. Okay, he's gone. Uh, so ship broker. And then we can pick one of these. Um, can't do that one. So this is going to trade our existing vessel. And I think we can only get the Ceres MK3. Um, it's a light freighter. This one's a light corvette. So it's a light freighter. Got 2,000. Our ship cost is nearly 40,000. Our trading value is 42. So after everything, we're going to have four, nearly 5,000 credits. We can see some stats. Let's just buy this. There we go. Let's go back to Le uh, Leslie. You sort a ship out, get yourself a ship. I surely did. Bought a Ceres class light flat freighter. Like mine. Nice going. We'll get you set up soon. You can take her out for a spin. What else should I do if I take off? Well, there's a lot you can do out there in Apollo. Salvage, bounty hunting and the like. Barrack and hauling cargo is your best way to get started. The backbone for all of us freelancers. Freelance ship captains out there. Me, I work for United Leon Space Enterprises. They're a heavy manufacturing company, operates in these parts, hauls large scale construction materials and the like. So I'm gonna do you a favor and put in a good word with my boss and get yourself as a freelancer for them. Jobs don't just grow on trees out here. You gotta find work for one employer at a time. You might have seen those monitors for buying and selling goods and that one with contracts on it. Those are your main ports Ports are called for taking contracts and the like. So what you want to do is go over there, find the contracts button and pick one. I'll tell you what goods you haul, it'll tell you what goods you're hauling and where they're going. Come back and see them when you've grabbed your first contract. Will do. So we'll go here, we'll go to contracts. And then he's putting a good word for us. And then we can see here, so this one is 26 hydrogen to cross this harbour. We can see there's no jump required. We have 36 hours to do it. Um, keep an eye on this. You can get, I think you do get quite punished for missing deadlines. And you may not be able to get missions for them for a while. So we've got this one, this fill station. This one's outside the system. I think if they're purple, they're outside. If they're blue, they're inside. So that one's going to cross this harbour. This one's going to prefect outpost. Let's just take one of these, which one's worth the most? This one. So take contract. Go back, and I think, yep, yeah, that's been put in our hold already. Now, I've got where to see how much we can carry. 40 units and we've used 14 so we could technically take both oh no there's not enough space transport 22 oxygen 26 hydrogen hmm 
I'm just wondering why that's... Oh, okay, yeah. So we're going to have 40 units of solid cargo. Don't know what that one is. I'm not sure. Who's this one? We've got someone here. Greetings, Captain. You miss with the newcomer. I've heard is on the station. Have you been to Lego before? I mean to Lego Gasport. Lego is the colony down the surface. The Gasport is the space station here. Oh, wait. I guess not. Of course not. You're a newcomer. Why would you have? Yep, first time. Great. Always good to see a new face. So, do you need me to talk you through these trading and commerce terminals? Um, I'm sure I can figure it out. Okay, sure thing. Well, have fun. Yep, I've got a contract. I'll be holding some gases. Great, I suggest you jot down the details in the notes section of that PDA you're holding. It's a useful little tool for keeping track of what you're doing. Notes section noted. Listen, there's one thing I forgot to mention, something you may not know. You know that big plan you all had to build a transcluster jump kit back to Earth? They didn't build it? Yep, they never finished it. Delay after delay, the whole lack of resource and Apollo thing, and after a while a bunch of folks started thinking we were better off without having Earth rule over us anyway. The government we set up, the Apollo Earth Authority, there it is. Well, that was only ever meant to be temporary, like, so she just kind of collapsed once enough people felt like they were, they were doing fine, just taking care of themselves. So there's seven major states out there now. You're inside the Leon Empire. Welcome. Uh, that's unbelievable. What about Earth? Don't people care? Sure, some still do. Didn't like it were unanimous. But the folks who wanted freedom from Earth won out. Folks who still wanted that connection didn't. So the whole purpose of the Cassandra mission was abandoned. Well, not as such. I mean, half of it sure was. Earth gain ain't a thing and we're alone out here. The other half, we sure as heck colonised Apollo like we are supposed to. You'll see when you get out there. Ships and space stations damn near everywhere. I'm going to look for myself. I have to see what's happened. Fair enough, friend. Well, let me just hit you with one last piece of advice. you got your comms room on your ship. Go there and type mail on the right-hand monitor. It'll show you all the messages you've downloaded. I'll send you one. Reply so I know you got it. Thanks. Good luck out there. Oh. Is this one want to talk to us? Yeah. Uh, Leon Clerk. Yes, can I help you? I'm a pilot from this Cassandra. I just docked. Am I right? The same people have been in Apollo for 50 years. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, it must be a little strange for you. Okay, so yeah, the year is 44A. We measure our calendars by the number of years we've been in Apollo. It's October 3rd, 44A. It's a Tuesday. <laughs> so, uh, hi. Welcome to Apollo. This is heavy. Yeah, it can be a bit much, don't worry. That law which was passed about keeping your ship tends to see newcomers set up and able to earn their living well enough. Hooray. Hooray indeed. Money makes Leo go round, and there's no better way to be a part of it than to be in between companies. They need freelancers, folks like yourself who can make things happen. Now, Lego here, this boring ass truck stop station, she isn't much, but Leo itself is the central hub of the whole cluster. Fly around a bit, you'll see. Thanks. Anytime. Welcome to Apollo. Sorry, all your friends are dead. Okay, let's go. Pay fees, request permission, we're good to go. Airlock sealed. Now let's give a tour of my ship. So we have our little captain's cabin here. Get a little bit of a status update while we're in here. So it seems to be called Mendy. I think there's a way to rename this. I can't remember how. Is it out here? It is. So we are called. Tova. Our ship can be um ideas for a ship name. I'm just looking around the room to get some ideas. Let's call this Oh, I hate this. <laughs> oh, what can I see? Um, I can't think of anything. 
I hate this, I can't think of anything. Let's call it. <laughs> God. Uh, what videos have we put in? The, uh, I've been playing Hard Space, I've been playing Gas Station Simulator, I've been playing High Fleet. High Fleet, what was it called in that? I don't like that, but we'll go with it for now. The Peter. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's getting changed. Okay, so we've got this. Uh, from here, we've got our email station. We've got our comms array. We can turn auto sync, but then it'll always use um, power, which we don't want. Uh, let's. We've got in queue, so let's download now. Go, and then we'll go here, type mail, and oh, we've got some mail, oh, well, we've got a lot of mail. First off, we've got um, one about our PDA, we've got one from the devs with some tips, I'd like to reply to them and say continue make this game. We've got one from the people who made our navigational computer telling us how to control it. We've got another one from the same people saying how we use jump gates. We have one from Leslie. I was the ship treating you, forgot to mention your comms room is more than just mail. Try typing news on your comms screen, you'll see what I mean. Anywho, just sending you this message uh, like I promise so I can sleep. Shoot me a reply so we can reply to this. Let's press R. I'm all settled here, mail for mail and news for news makes sense. Thanks for helping me out. There, we'll send. What's the inbox? We've got one from United Leon Space Enterprises. Thanks for choosing to work with us. We reward successful and efficient workers. Uh, your details have been Oh yeah, we've changed our name, so it's Tova now. And our ship name. And I think that's it. Yeah. We've got our engineering station. So this is like the other one where we can click stuff and we can disconnect. You can see what our ship looks like as well. Uh, we've got our uh, power station, so we can see where all our power goes, quite in depth. Oh, I've just remembered about MCOM. We've got some news, but I'm not going to check them now. We're going to undock. That's 38 minutes. <laughs> so, where is... Our mission, uh, Crassus Harbour. So do you see this looks all outdated now? This is like a rubbish map. Where's Crassus Harbour? Crassus Harbour's down here. So there's a fog here. We can see these. These are nebulas, which we can use to hide in if we need to. there now we've also got this screen I need to remember how to use this but these this are basically our contact screen we can kind of see what stuff's doing so uh, the IFF's on we can see what it is so we can see what these are because the IFF's on we can see whether weapons are activated whether jump drive or drive RCS reactor um, and that determines what the contact is. So sometimes you might see question marks on here. Got our comms station here. So we can contact people, we can contact Crassus if we want to. And then we can see if they've got any contracts. So scrap and produce. 
can view the goods for sale. So if we're looking at something, we can just look from here. If there's any passengers there, and we can disconnect. We can contact other ships. It's Samantha's dream. You know what's the good word? We can make ask them to drop their cargo. We're not going to do that. See distance to places. I'm trying to think where. Be stations. Na, I can't remember what these are. Ve. Vehicles. There's Samantha's dream look. She's got a drive activated and a reactor. So we're going through this now. I should really be careful going through here. And there is a way to speed up with the uh, comma and full stop. Also worth noting, on your ship, we can't see behind us. So that's our blind spot which we can utilize but we can kind of detect things in the distance and we know something's behind us until we turn we can't see we can turn somehow can we do it with wasd so we're still heading in this direction but i'm facing that way so we can have a peek behind us if we need to see the cluster so we're in Leo hail people from here always give us the same options as before and we've got some mail so let's just check this now oh I didn't download it Congratulations on purchasing your very own LY200 light freighter and it gives you some information on that which I'm not going to read because the video will be two hours long if I read all these. Feel free to pause, I forgot what that does. I've got a little window. Power drain is a bit high. really should get some components as well now we have MCOM this is our like stealth meter so right now we are blasting through we 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 can be seen quite well here you can turn MCOM on down here I think we also got another window is that a window that's reactor that's MCOM so that's gonna make us really quiet I'm not going to use that now. We're almost there. Wait for the belt. And we're here, so let's um, find the contract screen. Oh, I recognise him. Maybe you? No. Contracts. This one. It's always nice. It, good to know what time you take this as well. Which I think you can do up here. 7.23. I can't remember what time I took it. Let's deliver this. And contract complete. That's been taken out. We're all good. We did want he what he's got a mission for us. I can't remember what it is. We 
do want like the yellow ones. That these are different brands. I think these ones are quite useful. How much are you? 30 credits. It's worth having some of these just in case you need them. And yeah, that's uh, the only bad thing. You can't see the map when you're docked, which would be good. So you can't see what's out there. So yeah, let me know what you think. I like this game. I'm gonna. I think I'll just do videos now and again with this. You know, it's quite cool. But I'm always seeing people saying, "Is it worth a buy?" And I think it is. Like I, I got this on sale. I can't remember when I bought it. A couple of years ago. And I've had my money's worth out of it. And I've had a lot of fun with it. It's such a shame. It's not getting continued. And you see people, in, like, I just checked the forums today and there's people in there. Is this really cancelled? Because it, it's such a good idea for a game. And yeah, it's just a shame it's not carrying on. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, have you got this game? Have you played it? Are you going to pick it up now? Like, are you going to have a go on it? Um, stuff's unfinished, but you can have a lot of fun. Um, I do apologise, this first episode was mainly talking, but we'll get to some fun stuff later. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.